We've got 12 evil zirconian smart minds on our tail, closing fast. I told you not to stop at the evil zirconian homeworld. But they were advertising free ice cream. Erwin, there's a reason they're called the evil zirconians. Our shields are down. We, we can't take another hit. If we turn off the lights, maybe they'll think no one's home. Now, I've got a better idea. We're close to the galactic center. The stars are so closely packed together, we might be able to lose the mines among them. I can't see through all the dust. Switch to the Spitzer infrared map. Okay. The density of stars is greatest right at the center. Target acknowledged. Entering warp. Wait! Erwin, we can't just fly blindly through the center of the galaxy. Why not? With, with all these stars so close together, we're likely to smash into one. And there's a supermassive black hole right at the center. Define supermassive. Supermassive as in four million solar masses. In other words, it swallowed the equivalent of four million sun-sized stars. Uh-huh. Perhaps we had better slow down. Perhaps we better. Exiting warp. The stars are incredibly closely packed around here. In some cases, they're actually in closed orbits around the black hole. Fascinating. Which is directly in front of us. <laughs> Hang on. That was close. I think we're in a safe orbit. It's so pretty. You're seeing the effect of the black hole's gravity, actually twisting and distorting light. I'm going to slow down for a better look. I wouldn't do that. We're, we're in a safe orbit now, but if we slow down too much, we're actually going to drop closer to the black hole, possibly too close to escape from it. What's a black hole doing here anyway? Actually, scientists think that these things power most, if not all, of the active galaxies in the universe. We've got company. Should I get out the good plates? No, I mean one of the mines has followed us. It's orbiting the black hole in the opposite direction. In about 30 seconds, it's going to meet us head on. Uh -oh. It's matching its engine speed to ours, trying to keep its orbit at the same distance away from the black hole. Can't we fly away? If we do, we're going to be a target for the mine's plasma bolts. And our shields are down. Permission to cry? Permission denied. I've got an idea. Decrease our speed by 5%. But you said that will drop us closer to the black hole. Right. But if the mine wants to stay on its collision course with us, it's going to have to do the same. the event horizon. What's that? That's the point where nothing, not even light, can escape the black hole's gravity. But I plan to keep us just above it. We're still dropping. Just a little bit further. The mine is matching our engine speed. We just need to get a little bit closer. I can't look. Get ready to accelerate. Now. See, a black hole has so much mass that when it rotates, it literally rotates space and time along with it. Huh. We were going in the same direction as the rotation, so we were actually going a little bit faster than our engines thought we were. But since the mine was matching its engine speed to ours and rotating in the opposite direction... It was actually going slower than us. Exactly. So while we're traveling fast enough to get away from the event horizon, the mine is not. That's a pretty good use of applied theoretical physics, huh? Uh-huh. Well, I'm glad that's over with.
Okay, let's get far, far away from here. And this time, let's use the Spitzer infrared map to plot a safe course out. You know, there's a new pizza place on the edge of the galaxy, giving away free pizza for their grand opening. Wait a minute. Free pizza? Yeah, isn't that great? I believe it's courtesy of the evil flesh-eating zombies of Rydul 7. Hang on! Erwin! 